Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what team are you on? Are you on team COVID? Or are you on team anti-COVID? That's right. Let's keep talking about that. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, basically, um, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. You know, the stigma that comes with, uh, you know, either wearing this or not wearing this. See, look, the dog wants to chip, chip in already. He wants to, already he wants to voice his opinion. See, look, he's anti-COVID like us. Look at him. Hey! All right, that's right, doggy. <laughs> All right, anyways. So, you know, what team are we on? You know, what team are you on? You know, it doesn't, I mean, basically, this uh, this episode uh, is geared to every, anyone that's watching it, really, I guess. Um, but, you know, again, what team are you on? Are you on team... Um, I'm gonna believe everything that's going on. I'm gonna believe the mainstream media. I'm gonna believe um, other people's opinions instead of my own. Or are you gonna be a free thinker? It's kind of windy. Nice. So today is Sunday morning. It's like around 10 in the morning right now, 10.30 in the morning. And uh, we're just taking a stroll down Paseo Montejo, which we're about to, we're approaching in a little bit. And uh, we're going to Walmart today because I gotta, you know, buy some groceries and do all that stuff. Hey guys, before I end today's episode, I had something happen to me in the Walmart that I just thought, you know, um, I would like to share with you guys because it's pertains to basically what we were talking about in today's episode. As I'm in Walmart, you know, I'm following all the protocols, you know, I gotta wear my mask, you know, social distancing, all that jazz. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just going in there doing my business. Um, and as I'm leaving, um, and I'm standing, I actually, as I'm standing in line to pay, I'm doing, again, the social distancing thing, you know what I mean? Like, I got somebody in front of me, I got that space in between, and I got, you know, I'm, I'm next in line, and then I had like five other people behind me. And the line, you know, stretched out to like the dressing rooms. I was in Walmart, you know, like as you know, the the clothes section is right by the cash registers. So I'm just standing there minding my own business, listening to podcasts or what have you. And then all of a sudden some lady just comes up to me and stands right in front of me, some, some American lady, some expat. And she starts barking at me. And I look at her and I'm like, you know, I take off my hair, earphones and I'm like, how can I help you? And she's like, can you please move so I can get in line? And I look and I go, ma'am, there's five people behind me. The line's back there. And she's like, how dare you? How you know? dare you? And she's like, you know, um, by the way, I'm kind of like um, adding a little bit, embellishing on the story, but it was basically exactly like I'm saying, all right? She goes, how dare you? Don't call me ma'am. You know, yada, yada, yada. And then as she was, you know, going on her thing, I go, look, ma'am. I was just here minding my own business. You chose not to look behind me and see that there's a huge line. You're acting as if this is the first time you've encountered this. Um, why are you picking on me? I, obviously, you know, I called you ma'am because I'm just trying to talk out of respect, unlike you, which you confronted me, not knowing my name either, and so on and so forth. So, and then she just got, you know, upset and she started walking away and she just walked to the end of the line. And I'm like, you know, again, if you guys weren't aware, you know what I mean? Like, and you guys haven't seen my other videos, you know that I already had, I got confronted by somebody um, for not wearing my mask in the city a few, like about a month ago. And that video got removed from YouTube. So, <clears throat> you know, now all of a sudden, the same thing, I'm, I'm actually in the Walmart and I'm actually com comporting myself. And now some entitled elitist person comes up to me and starts acting all karen -ish, you know, starts acting all, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you better move so I can get in line type of thing. And I'm like, no, how dare you? So I confronted her. She went to the back of the line. And as uh, that happened, all of a sudden, I saw all the Mexicans that were behind me and they were smiling. They were, you know what I mean? Like giving me a nod, you know what I mean? Like the thumbs ups and all that shit. So it made me feel pretty good. So, you know, as I left and I got in the Uber, the Uber said, hey, don't even worry about wearing your mask. It's okay, because I was putting my mask as I got in the Uber. We came over here, everything was great, telling me how things are starting to open up. People are, have, have had enough. It is what it is. And, um, and it just made me think, you know, I'm actually glad that not only did I make the today's episode, but I, I got confronted in the Walmart and, um, and I got the reaction that I got because normally, you know, that lady, you know, she thought that she was trying to be, you know, uh, virtue signaling or doing whatever. Because, by the way, I was wearing my mask, but not fully, just, you know, enough, you know, so that I can do my shopping. But that's it. I'm not really complying. And um, everybody knows that and everybody saw that. And yet, a after that whole thing, I thought that I was going to be in the wrong in the eyes of the people. But no, 
she was in the wrong in the eyes of the people so you know back to full circle to what i'm you know what i like to say here on this channel is be you all right um follow your convictions your gut don't be changing you yourself for anybody just be you do you and eventually you know not eventually but pretty soon you you start really seeing you know the that you start reaping those rewards okay so like i said you know after everything that happened at walmart and the uber and everything and even now i'm realizing i'm glad that i am who i am that i do what i do and i am doing what i'm doing and that i am not complying and i am sticking up for myself and others and uh yeah you know what i mean so it made me feel good and um and i hope uh, it made you guys feel good and maybe laugh a little bit at the whole thing and so you know the city's starting to get back to normal slowly you know um i don't know how things are in your area i think things in the u.s are getting worse and other and other places are getting better and so on and so forth but you know out here they're getting a little better and things are starting to open up so with that being said as they open up um now if i go to the store during the week there's a little bit more people there everyone's wearing that mask um and so you know by wearing that you know like it's it's i don't want to be in a place where there's a lot of mask wearing people because again you know what i mean it goes to that whole um mental you know mental thing you know where it's uh it's it's more difficult to deal with on um, this situation if you see with your own eyes so many other people complying at least for me because you know the reality is is that when you're going out and about and you're not you know showing uh your mask you're basically telling the world i'm not going to listen to this narrative i'm not going to listen to um any of these things that's going on I'm, a, I'm more of a free thinker um i'm anti this narrative in one form or another you know because even if you're just uh you know um doing it to breathe because sometimes you might have your mask on but you might just take it down a little bit to breathe and all of a sudden you're looked down upon and it goes back to like um the, the whole virtual signaling thing that we've had for a very long time already you know where basically there no matter what you do there's always going to be something that is going to be wrong you know that's why you know i feel like um this whole you know mask wearing uh, rhetoric notice that it's been adopted by the left the same left that is leading a lot of these uh you know riots you know antifa a bunch of the destruction of property you know all over the the world but basically mainly in the u.s right now and things like that so it's kind of interesting it really is you know what i mean to see you know kind of like what's going on as you know time you know keeps progressing forward here <clears throat> we are realizing that again there's two teams here you know what i mean you know the team that is uh you know pro government pro um pro fa uh, what is it pro mask wearing uh narrative and then the people that are not you know um and uh it's it's kind of like diluting the political everything a little bit too like meaning that some people are choosing to wear the mask or not choosing to wear the mask only because of a political affiliation you know some people are all of a sudden changing you know their minds when it comes to one thing or another like for example you know me being an individual that doesn't want to wear a face mask and all that shit if all of a sudden the, the people i want to vote for is saying to wear a mask i'm not going to want to vote for them anymore so there's a lot of little things going on but you know one of the things that this whole thing is doing it's it's revealing people for for who they are for real they're really really revealing a lot of people it's um th this whole thing that's going on with the face mask it's it's you know it's a it's a it's uh one of many things that's going on but really what's really going on with this whole thing in my estimation is the fact that you know people are now as you walk down the street and you see somebody with a mask you know exactly where they stand and what they stand for when you see someone walking down the street without a mask same thing you know exactly what they stand for what they don't stand for and everything in between so 
again, it's a very interesting time right now um, in which we're embarking. It's only the very, very beginning of it. We still have a lot to go. But, you know, one thing is like, um, let's say I'm going to wear my mask, uh, you know, indoors um, because of a, of a government mandated regulation of a private corporation mandated regulation but when uh you know the whole idea or concept of having to you know put on your mask in the middle of uh the day as you're walking about through the park you know as you're walking around your city as you're doing anything outdoors it doesn't matter what it is it's kind of ridiculous to me it's very ridiculous to me because again there's no reason why we should be wearing that fucking thing um we're, we right now at this point, we're already way past that point of uh, knowing what the hell's going on or not. You know, most of us are already fully aware that uh, wearing, not only the wearing the mask doesn't do anything. In fact, all it does is make you sicker, make you worse, you know, make you feel worse. You know, on top of that, like um, when it comes to like uh, all the recommendations that they're giving you, stay indoors. Um, don't take any, you know, take um, this medicine, take this test, take this, you know, government mandated situation over here. But, you know, again, you know, if they say uh, they don't want you outside, they don't want you getting any sun, they don't want you, you know, taking vitamin C, they don't want you doing any of that stuff, you know what I mean? They want you under their control. And it's, uh, it's hilarious, you know what I mean? Like, uh, even when I see people, you know what I mean? Like all kinds of people, it's, um, very telling you know what i mean uh, as to what's going on how's it going guys good how are you doing? good good wonderful and uh that's it again you know right now what's going on with um the whole mask wearing situation it's just again like i said very telling you know what i mean right off the bat you know what i mean you could tell what's going on <laughs> you know what i mean you don't need to like talk to anybody you don't need to anything you know right off the bat you know what i mean whether they're wearing their mask or not you know if they're scared not scared where they believe you know what what side of the spectrum they're on what kind of knot they're on you know shit like that you're seeing a lot more men not wear it because again they're a little bit more brazen um and so on and so forth but you know that's how strong this propaganda is you know what i mean like it's like you know you got to be stronger than that you know it's all in your head it really is all in your head it's all in all of our heads you know and are we gonna let some entity that we don't know control our thoughts or are we going to be the ones in control of our thoughts you know and um, control of our actions and control of everything and so you know as i'm out here right now in this part of mexico and i'm starting to see things starting to get lifted up you know things starting to open up things starting to get back to normal and i'm starting to see what's going on in the u.s and other parts of the world where things are just going for a second lockdown a second wave of the virus, a second wave of all this stuff. I see so many people freaked out, scared, you know, um, completely 1000%, not just believing the narrative, but, you know, falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. It, it, it really breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Look, even in the last uh, videos I did, because I have another channel where I talk about what's going on out here, and I try to keep it like non-political. I try to keep it, you know, very PG rated, but you know, in the last several videos talking about just uh, the virus situation, the opening up situation, you know, all that, you know, I've had to, you know, I, I couldn't help me resist my, I couldn't resist myself. I couldn't stop from, uh, I couldn't stop from, um, what you might call it, like uh, voicing my true opinion. And uh, so many people, so many people out there have, uh, you know what I mean? Like, again, you know, come up with their, like, oh my God, I know people that have died of COVID. I know people that are this, that are that. You know, that have been infected, that have been that. And I'm like, guys, I mean, why, why do you not listen to everything? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I, everyone out there is infected with COVID. Everyone at some point has been infected with COVID or will be infected with COVID. And so with that being said, you know, um, of course, and that's why they want to test more people because the more people that they test, the more um, COVID cases that are going to come out. Why? Because COVID, Corona, whatever the fuck, 
you know this whole thing is just a common cold it's been with us for a very long time so we've all had it at some point in our life and so of course if you get tested for it well you're gonna come out positive and even if you come out negative they keep saying that it's gonna it's, it's a false negative and a positive and a this and a that and like 80 percent of the tests are wrong and and again it's like one thing after another with them and uh yet we people still believe all that you know what i mean even though all the evidence is right in front of them they they they're telling the public themselves that you know people um even even like what is it like the the, the test is only 80 percent that yeah the test is only 80 percent accurate you know most people are going to be coming out um you know positive um the fact that we if you just do a little homework you know that we don't have uh you know that we don't have a, a a vaccine for the common cold or the flu but yet they're they're expecting you know for uh for a vaccine to come out of nowhere for this thing again we do not have the vaccine for the common cold or the common flu but yet people still want to believe that we're coming up with a fucking vaccine for this thing so you know i can go on and on and you know basically what it what it boils down to is the fact that people you know they choose their team and they don't want to be wrong and then they just um choose to ignore the obvious and keep rooting for their team so again that's why you know like i'm walking out here in the middle of fucking nothing in the middle of nowhere there's like i mean you've only and by the way there's a lot of people for a sunday out um a lot more than usual right now by the way on sunday usually this whole area is closed off and it's full of bicycles it's like i mean i'm not gonna go looking through all my stuff because i'm gonna see if i can upload this later today but usually all the street up and down for miles and into the city is closed off for people wanting to you know ride their bikes and um and it's a sunday thing a family thing and again all that's been closed for like three or four months now because again you know what i mean people are just too scared to to go out and uh, they close the whole thing and yeah it's just interesting times that we're we're living in right now but you know again um what do i see going forward here you know i, I really do like i've said you know like i was uh thinking you know my thoughts earlier you know talking about the fact that you know, I was talking to Christian actually, you know, about the fact that like, uh, you know, the world that we're in right now, the world that we're heading into, you know, it's uh, something that we've seen before. You know, this is not the first time that we as humans have been forced to wear a face mask. You know, this happened back during the Spanish flu. It happened back in slavery. And you can keep going back and back. The muzzle is nothing new. That's number one. Now we got to, you know, then ask the question, what does that muzzle represent? We know what it represents, okay? look up muzzle all right see what it represents and uh you know again like i was saying you know right now you know more than any time ever more than any time in history in your history in your recent history you're starting to really see you know um everyone uh everyone get revealed one of the things that i talked about many times in my um when i do when i used to do monday motivations so by the way, I, I, I used to do Monday Motivation all the time. I just don't do them anymore, but you guys can check out, you know, that playlist and the thing if you're interested in that. Um, but anywho, um, I just, as, as I used to say in my Monday Motivation videos and stuff like that, you know, the fact that, you know, right now, what's going on, more than anything else, man, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> What was I going to say about the Monday motivation? Oh, yeah. Yes, I remember now. Okay, so, you know, Gary V. I used to bring up Gary V a lot. If you don't know who he is, check him out. You know what I mean? He's awesome. Gary Vaynerchuk. Check out my Monday motivations. You'll know exactly who he is. But anyways, he used to say all the time, he's really into tech and really into motivation, really into a lot of like cool things. So one of the things that he used to say or talk about, bring up a lot, was the fact that we were in the very near future we were going to be embarking into this uh, new world in which everyone's secrets everyone's uh true um thoughts desires every everything that people hold secret and dear 
is gonna come out and be exposed. In a sense, everyone was gonna get exposed real, you know, like at a point really soon in our future. And he used to say this, you know, a, a lot. And uh, now as we sit here today, in today's, uh, you know, current moment, current world moment, you know, we are realizing, hola, bueno, here. Yeah. Anyways, we are currently realizing yeah, man, you know, I just confront people that give me the, the look, man, I don't care. So anyway, so, you know, we're realizing that people, more and more people are getting exposed. Straight up. You know, straight up. So if you, you know, thought of a certain thing and you were always keeping a secret or you had a secret life or you had secrets that you did not want exposed or secret thoughts or whatever it is, everything is just getting exposed. Everything. Because of the current situation we're in because of the face masking situation because of all of these things that are literally happening right now everyone is being exposed and um it's it's for me it's awesome and it's great because for someone like me that you know basically i have my whole life on the internet i got my whole life you know just like uh you know out there i don't really hide anything per se nothing like that you know all of a sudden you know because it's true because most of my life is not that private i have a few things that are private you know i try to keep private but the reality is is that you know i, I put my i put myself out there you know i got myself out there a lot you know i get myself in trouble and i get a lot of fans because of who i am and what i do but with that being said the majority of people are not like me at all you know the majority of people are not like you either you know we're all unique all right we're all special but with that being said the reality is, is that, you know, I myself, um, because of my circumstances, I put myself in a position in which I have really nothing to fear. I'm, I'm, I, in fact, I, I, right now I feel awesome, more awesome than usual, only because of the simple fact that um, as everything is getting exposed, as people are being, you know, exposed for the true colors, things are being shown exactly for what they are and how they are and everything like that, you know, um, I get to sit here and really be my true self and not have to worry about a damn thing because I've always been my damn self. But a good majority of people out there, you know, we, you know, um, we are now in the moment in time in which people that have talked the talk have now have to walk the walk. So I, because I was literally talking with this about, you know, talking with this to with Christian because we were talking about a, a mutual friend that again talks the talk, but now as things are happening, um, they can't walk the walk, you know what I mean? You know, this uh, friend of hers, you know what I mean? Like, it's just hilarious. Uh, but that's the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, I've not only do I talk the talk, but I walk the walk, you know what I mean? And I, I don't say it's easy by any stretch of the imagination, but in a moment like this, as we're seeing the things that are happening right now, it's like, wow. You know, we're seeing everybody, you know, a lot of people that, some people that never even talk the talk, but they're walking the walk. But we're seeing so many people that talk their talk, and they're not walking no walk. Okay, they're doing the complete opposite. I and mean, again, that's the exposure, you know, exposure and how people are getting exposed and things like that. So it, it's a very, very interesting time. Um, I, I mean, I just wanted to make a little video, a little bit of commentary on the situation. I'm going to see if I can upload this today as Sunday. As soon as I get home with the groceries, I'm going to upload this immediately and I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to anything. I mean, I usually never do, but I got to do some sort of thing to it, you know, uh, you know, process it, you know, to put it all together. Um, and that's it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want more of this content, check out the rest of the channel. Um, if you want to see me live, hang out with us on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Central where I do my live stream and do all kinds of stuff. Well, I'm gonna see if I can talk about, um, uh, what you might call it, uh, the, the, the United States Corporation, um, birth certificates and all kinds of crazy shit like that this Wednesday live stream. So, you know, on last Wednesday live stream, we talked about, you know, the Confederate flag situation and we talk about all kinds of shit, all kinds of things that most people don't want to even touch. All right. And I bring it to you in a more very neutral um, kind of space. You know what I mean? Despite of what uh, others out there might think. So, guys, you already know the deal. All right. If you enjoy this kind of content, if you enjoy this channel, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Don't forget to see all the links below. Check me out on Library, check me out on BitChute, check out my other channel, the Travel Channel. Just check it all out, all right? I'm all over the place. Check out the podcast. I do podcasts twice a week. So there's tons of podcasts, all right? You can hear me for hours and hours and hours. Check out all the links below, all right? Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys on Wednesday. Bye.